Welcome to your grade 11 IT lesson. It is the 19th of May today and today we are going to look at assigning values as part of the declaration of an array and using constants. I'm working for page 157 from the study opportunities textbook and we will be looking at activity 2. Okay, so before I get into the, the, um, the activity, I'm just going to backtrack here. Sometimes we need to have access to a constant list of values, for example, the names of the months or days of the week. These things do not change, they are set, for example. Also, another one could be that. A constant array becomes useful if the values will be used in a specific method only. The constant declaration or const declaration is typed before the beginning of the method where you want to use the array. So let us take a look here in this activity here. I've got this is activity 2.1. It is going to use a constant array. Uh, it says here choose a number of movie you want to watch and click on add. So what I've done is I have zipped both these activities and attached it in Google Classroom so that you will be able to uh, work through those activities. Okay, this activity says write an application that will display the names of eight movies in a rich edit number from one to eight. The user must use a spin edit to choose the number of the movie he or she wishes to watch. The name of the movie must be displayed in the second rich edit when the, so in the first one, um, the name of the movie must be displayed in my second rich edit when the user clicks on add. Make use of a constant array to store the names of the movies and you are allowed to choose your own movies. I'm going to give the ones that, use the ones that have been provided, but you're welcome to use your own version. Okay, so I'm going to go to my code. The first thing I'm going to do, go and do is I'm going to go and declare my constant. So underneath here, before we start, I'm going to write const, okay? And I'm going to declare my array movies. So I've called it R movies and it is an array and I have to make eight array uh, eight movies and it is of type string. Okay, now to declare it, I'm going to insert them. Remember, all strings must be in single quotes. So I've got Spider-Man, Jaws, good old fashioned Jaws. Um, Batman, Superman, I'm just going to go to the next line, um, let's think, uh, we've got Harry Potter, Okay, um, Lord of the Rings. And let's see, we've got Rocky. There were umpteen Rockies, if you had watched any of those, and also umpteen diehards. Okay, what I've got there, a mistake, here we go, is diehard. Um, and we'll say it was the fourth die hard. Okay, so what I've done here is I have declared my constant. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my design and click on my form once. I'm going to go to events and I'm going to actually um, code on the form activate. So I'm going to begin my form activate. And what I'd like to do here is I'm going to set up my rich edit. So 
var and I'm going to use i for integer and I've got my for loop so for i one to eight to do so for the following movies there are eight movies I begin begin okay so what I'd like it to do I don't really but I prefer using begin ends my read reach out rich it is called list dot lines dot add and in here what I would like to display is whatever was the integer so a number and then a movie so for example one Batman two Mary Poppins etc so to display my um, my number I need to have an int to string plus and don't forget you need to start using your tabs or movies and index whatever was placed in I okay let's just see what is that I spell our movies okay we'll check what is the mistake here um, red list lines dot add into string i plus ah, i've forgotten my plus okay okay so that is the um i've now set up my form so it might needs to loop one to eight times through all eight movies that I'm going to declare. I've set up my constant. My movies are not going to change. And now I'm going to code button add. Okay. So again, I'm going to use the variable i integer. And very easily, I'm going to have here I number so whatever is written to I number I would I've got a spin edit called set choose and um so whatever value was selected by my spin edit let's just check what my spin edit was called um set choose okay ah here I have not declared it correctly I number Okay, and my second rich edits, so the first one is my list, the second one is going to be my display. So redview.lines.add, and again, I'm going to select whatever movies, and I'm going to select it from I number. Okay, so my index I number, you could have made it just I, or you can make it I number, it is up to you. So that is basically the entire code. Let's see if we run it. Just taking a second with the antivirus. Okay, so as you can see, in the first one, I wanted on my form activate, I declared uh, whatever the constants were that they should, I've got a number, that was the, um, let's just see if we can see that code there. So whichever number was written there, it needs to put it specify a number and a movie. Um, so to read it from my constants. Now, if I select a, say for example, three, I want it to display by clicking add, it must on the right hand side, go and display that specific um, selection that I have chosen. So the add button is going to read from list one, it's going to see what value you've chosen on your spin edit, and it is going to display on the second one. Okay, so that was actually very, very easy. Um, let us go through the code again 
and then we will go on to the next activity. Let me just open up the chat if you have any questions. Okay, so step one is step one declare your constant, whatever that may be. Days of the week, subjects say you are writing a program that helps students choose. Now remember, in grade nine, you need to choose subjects for grade 10 to 12. So you could write a program where you go and in a constant declare which subjects are available and then they can call it from there. The next step, okay, step two is on your form activate, um, assign the movies um, to a number and in the first rich edit. Okay, and then your third step here would have been step three would be um, assign or display the selected movie in the second rich edit. Okay, so let's backtrack. I Step one, I went and declared. Now, where do I put my constant? Under the implementation underneath this code, just to say that this is your Delphi form. Okay, I'm going to call it R movies. I declare that it is an array. How many elements? There are eight elements. What type of string? And then I simply name my elements by placing them in single quotes with a comma separating them. So you can have 500, you can have two, it's up to you. Then step two is on your form activate, you're going to use a for loop and you're going to assign a movie to a number and display it in the first rich edit so that I'm able to read from there. And then step three, the user is going to select a movie that they want. So for example, they want to, you are for, um, you are hiring a movie from box office and you had to choose a selection from one to eight and you click on um, option eight and it must display then die hard four. Okay. So there you go. That is your basic program okay so what you have learned there is how to use a constant the array has a unit scope to allow the code of more than one method to refer to the values in the array okay now we're going to take a look at question two so let me load question two i'm just going to save this and i'm going to close here Let me just get the activities ready here. The next one is a game. Uh, children often play the game name, surname, animal, and town. Um, oh, I'm trying to remember what we used to call it, but we spent hours playing this game. Um, and there are going to be two parts, two ways of coding it. So let's see, file open project. And we're going to do show letter every minute. Okay, so very simply here, um, let's see, we have a form, we've got the timer, okay, um, and we have a label letter. Okay, so the question says here, Children often play the game name, surname, animal, and town. Sorry, let me just start. Uh, open my code here. Working with my left hand is not my strongest point. I'll use my right hand here. Okay, so. It 
It says here, children often play the game, name, surname, animal, and town. A number of letters are written on a piece of paper. Uh, oh yes, we used to call it general knowledge. One player closes his, eye, his or her eyes and selects a letter. All the players must then, as quickly as possible, write down the name, surname, surname, animal, and town for that particular letter. So, for example, if I chose B, then a name would be Betty, um, uh, surname Bradford, an animal, a bat, and the town would be Bethlehem. Okay. The player who can correctly list the items first in the, is the winner. Write a program that can be used to randomly select letters rather than asking a player to select the letter in each round. So do the following. Save all the letters of the alphabet except letters Q, X, Y, and Z. Just simply because it's too difficult to find words for that. In an array, display a select letter button on the form, when the user clicks on the select letter button, the program must use the random function or to select one of the letters of the alphabet from the array and display um, the letter on, and they must display the letter on the screen. The program can then be used to generate the letters of the game. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, so what they've done here is they've actually coded on the timer. So what do we start? We go to our code and the first thing I'm going to do, if you remember correctly, is I'm going to enter my constant. So const and here I'm going to have array of letters and I must declare that it is an array and now here I'm going to use only 22 because I've taken four of my letters out, one to 22 of, and this time you will see is I'm actually going to use of char because I'm only using a single letter. So, okay, so there. And I'm going to make it that it is in capital letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, sorry, this might take a few seconds, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, Okay, we don't want Q, so I'm going to go R, S, T, U, I want V, um, A, B, C, T, U, V, I don't want X, I don't want Y, and I don't want Z. Okay. I have I've forgotten about W. Okay, so there's my array. Um, and it is of type char. Okay, then what is the second part that I'm going to do is I'm going to on form activate. What I'd like to do is I want on form activate to write a randomize function so that it must randomize the functions here for me and then I'm going to code the actual timer. You can use a button, I'm going to just use the timer that is here and what do I do? I'm going to declare a variable, call it i index index and it's going to be of type integer. Okay. And then very simply, I'm going to have a beep. Now, what is a beep? A beep is a code that your computer's already got written in your computer. So what it must do, it must actually beep for me. Okay. 
then I'm going to use my index. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomize, so use the random function, okay, plus one. So choose through the letters. There are 22. And then in the caption that I've got there, LBL caption, LBL letter dot caption, sign our letter and whatever my index I index is. Okay, let's see our letter. Have I not declared my R letter? Uh, let's see where. Oh, I've used letters. Be very careful of that so that you don't get an error. Okay, so let's see if my program is going to work. Well, first of all, it's great. It started to run. Okay, and um, here it just looks like a blank form. I'm going to click. Uh, let's find where's my, why is my index not working? Uh, let's see, timer one. Is my sound on? My sound is on. Ha. I've lost my beeper. Um, beeper. You're not displaying. Okay, let's see if we add a button if it gives me, I will add that to button. So now I seem to be in still in run mode. Why have I lost my button? Let's see again. Okay, sorry guys, my program is not working today, um, but the code is correct. I see that I has, have somehow lost um, part of my tool palette here. Let's see if I can find the standard functions because it's only showing the above. It's not giving me the option to add a button. Let's see, uh, button. Okay, I'm going to comment this one out. And just copy this into that code and let's see if it works now and copy the timer out see this is part of coding is that sometimes it works sometimes it won't and there we go so every time there, do you hear my beep? So every time I push the button, um, it is going to um, say a button as in go, as if I had a bell or a whistle. It's going to beep at me and it's going to give me a random number. So go ahead and try that out. There is a second challenge to it. Use the timer component to display a different letter every minute. So what you will have to add into that code which is not there at the moment, is you would actually have to set the time for the challenge. That's where the, the timer comes into play. Okay, so this was actually quite fun. It wasn't a difficult activity. Um, so you can go and do activity 2.1 and 2.2 for me. They are very, very easy, and I think you're starting to understand how arrays work. Okay. Any questions? Here's my code. Let's just go through it again. Um, so step one, let's just add here. Step one, define your constant. Okay. Step two is going to be set up your form activate. Step two, set up 
form activate to randomize and step three is going to be um, let's see will be uh, display a random letter when the button is clicked. Great book, Hung. I'm so glad to hear that you are understanding this and you will see that arrays will become your best friend. Um, it's much easier to code an array than to work with a nested if or a case statement. Okay, great. So that is all we have for today. Um, we will continue tomorrow. We are going to uh, look at populating an array with an input from the user. So there, we, whether we use an input box or an edit, the user will have to enter a value and then display it. Okay, great. Have a great day and I will see you all, um, not tomorrow, sorry, on Thursday again. Okay, bye-bye.